Hey, hey, hey! Today we're moving from Poland to Malta. BitBay is gone. My name is Michael Cabrera. Let's chat. Okie dokie. So, with that out of the way, there's been some recent news in Poland where a lot of lawmakers were going quite aggressively against cryptocurrencies, whereas of last year they didn't really care. And some people even thought it was going towards a positive perspective. Now, what's going to happen in the future, nobody really knows. I think long term, eventually there'll be enough movement and enough companies and enough... There's not really lobbying in Poland as you would have in America but money's still moving in and out into certain politicians' hands. These politicians just aren't understanding of the current laws and of the current blockchain projects out there. They don't even know what blockchain is, some of these guys. They're just like, oh, it's a Ponzi, that's it. I was walking on the side of the street today, I saw a girl, I was like, hey, what's up, you're going to the bank? Cool, let me ask you a quick question, because you seem somebody from finance, she was. I asked her, what do you think about cryptocurrency? She's like, oh, it's a scam, immediately, I was like, um, well, tell me why. I'm just curious about it. And there's a lot of people out there. They just hear something from the media. They hear it from their agent, assistant, whatever it is. These guys are busy. You can't blame the politicians. They're making a lot of money and they have a lot of stress going on. They can't be looking at all areas. It is their job to explore different functions and genres and niches. That's great. But the industry that supports them the most will get the biggest benefits. The industries that are kind of threatening to them which cryptocurrencies aren't really too good. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to go against crypto and these people are very powerful because the institutional investors don't want to lose out on this. So with that all out of the way, what happened recently over the past couple of months, there has been movement about Poland trying to get a new law in that would screw with the crypto taxes. Capital gains would be, just, oh, everything would just suck, okay? The worst possible case scenario is, let's say you invested $10,000, you lost your cash, you would end up owing $500,000 in, uh, that, that's right, $10,000, and you would end up owning fi owing $500,000 to the government in back taxes. Great, a lot of companies got super scared about that, so they wanted to move on out of here, and eventually what happened is that, it's another topic for another video, but they did stop that movement. However, there's still some politicians that are like, ooh, crazy about it. Some community managers decided, you know what, we're, we're getting out of here. BitBay isn't anything large. I mean, it's dealing with like $10 million, but still for Poland standards, that's quite a bit. It's got like 27 or 28 cryptocurrencies. It's something, it wants to grow and it is not having that in Poland. So what they did is they moved to Malta. They announced it like yesterday, and tomorrow I believe will be the last day, or today's the last day where you will see the Polish language on the website. Apart from that, on September 17th, the website's closing down. The name, the domain, everything's still gonna remain the same, but they have to relaunch it in Malta under new laws. And you're like, well, why does it take so long? Why does it take like three months? because it's just, I don't know, moving countries, international laws, you're dealing with finance now, and when they're up and ready to go again, I'm pretty sure it sucks for them, but long-term they're thinking, well, it's gonna do them better than just sitting around here waiting to lose a couple milli to taxes or the government decides to completely shut them down, which for some people, you might wanna look at that because the, the most recent laws and the bills that were going to be turned into laws haven't been looking favorably about crypto, at least here. It's pretty nice and lenient over in Malta. Another great place is Switzerland. Uh, some companies are moving to Singapore. Then there's the whole tax thing with like Ireland and. Wherever you go in the world, there will be tax havens, but not even apart from that, it's mainly, will your company just be able to function? There's some mining companies out there where everything was going great until there was protests, people started signing petitions, now the companies have to just move on out of there and money's moving out of that town. Sucks for that town. Some people just aren't open to the change. Me living in Poland, a lot of people ask why I do that. It is all dependent upon what you want to do with your life. And for me personally, I'm doing just fine here. Everything's good. Property's cheaper. The internet's cheaper. Everything's 
more affordable. You're able to save more money, so you have more money to invest with. If you guys remember a video from a couple days ago, the Polish government was funding anti-crypto videos. That also wasn't too good, but what do you guys think about this? Poland may not be the best place to have a crypto company, but to be a crypto YouTuber, crypto investor, doesn't really matter. Plus, anyways, I'm international. I can move at any point in time. I'm a digital nomad, so, okay, sure, I really like it here, but let's say it all turns into chaos. I'm able to find another country. Although I'd rather not. It's nice, especially now in the summertime. My name is Michael Cabrera. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you tomorrow.